let's suppose you have two versions of a same landing page and you're trying to figure out which of these versions drives higher conversion rates. What you need to do is set up a split URL experiment, an A-B test that'll handle splitting traffic across your different variant URLs, measuring user session, and figuring out which version drives the higher conversion rates. We'll see how to do that today using Ghostar.app. What we're gonna wanna do is go to create new experiment, select split URL type experiment, and provide the main URL for our landing page, our control version. We can always use more advanced URL rules. Perhaps we wanna exclude certain traffic containing certain URL parameters. For this example, we'll stick to a basic setup, confirm URL. Now our experiment has been created. We are kick started with this variant B where we need to set up variant URL. We'll be working with this example landing page I've got set up and this example landing page has a B variant route for demo purposes. Of course, your variant landing page doesn't need to just contain a simple copy change. It could contain a whole different layout. There's really no limits to how much you might test in an alternative landing page. And you can create as many as you want. For this demo, we'll stick to two versions, control and variant B. So let's set the URL for our variant B and we can opt in into preserving URL parameters, which will mean if users arrive to control with certain UTM parameters, perhaps, and we want to persist this in the redirect that will take place, we'll toggle this option to on. Save changes. And now we just got to set up conversions. So you might set up conversions based on certain page visits, based on clicks on certain elements, or trigger them manually by providing this snippet to a developer. I've already have a few conversions set up, which are the ones I'll use. So as a main conversion, I want to track visits to the thank you page. And as a secondary conversion, I will be uh, measuring clicks on my uh, CTA, this one, set conversions. Now our experiment is ready to be launched. Before I do that, I am actually gonna shift this uh, traffic allocation from 99 to one, so that you are able to see the redirect in action. This is just for demo purposes. The more realistic use case, of course, is having a split traffic, unless you're, you're testing something a bit more risky, you might want to throttle down the traffic to your variant V. And actually, before I launch, let me show you a bit about audience targeting. So I do have the ability, if I want to, to narrow down my audience based on device type, based on country rules, including or excluding certain countries, and based on news, uh, visitor types. I may decide to um, roll out this variant just for new visitors or returning visitors. We'll keep um, the audience targeting settings off for this demo and we're ready to launch. So let's launch our experiment and let's see what this means. If I were to visit the URL I showed you initially, you'll see I'm immediately redirected to variant B. I didn't see any flickering. I didn't see the old version. I was shown in, from scratch the redirected version, which is good for user experience. I can refresh my dashboard and already see uh, the visits to this page. Let's click on the main CTA where I was tracking conversions. Let's refresh again. So CTA clicks was my secondary conversion. Let's toggle that one on. And you can see we're, we're already tracking conversions. Eventually this data will add up, give you the um, insight into statistical confidence on the results. And you'll be able to clearly see which of the variants has uh, the better conversion rate. This is an example of an experiment that has collected a bit more data. In this experiment, I'm testing the size of a subtitle in one of my landing pages. And you can see I'm already uh, able to distinguish which is the winning variant so far, which is variant B. And I've got a statistical confidence indicator. Statistical uh, significance is not quite there yet, but it should eventually build up as I gather more data. These are the tools you, you'll be able to use to determine success uh, in your experiments.